Hi guys, so in this 101 video, we will see how to use azuref. First, download it from Gumroad and you will have a zip. Then, go in your Blender, File, User Preferences, Add-on, click on Install Add-on from File, select D.zip and you will have azuref. Activate it and once activated, you will have this result. If you go in info, you will have information, instruction, and some uh, important uh, things to know. Uh, in the option, you will be able to select and change the category. If you want to place it in the tools or else, you have to save and restart Blender if you change it. You can change the distance between the camera and the reference. Keep it uh, like this, but uh, change it if, if needed. And there is a auto research camera border. This one will be automat automatically activated. Uh, that will add uh, the border outside the view to not see the border of the camera directly in the view. That's it for the preferences. Uh, you have now a ZRF here and if you keep your mouse on the button you will see you have two options. One to create a camera with references and one with shift, shift and click to create a camera without any reference. That can be uh, useful and that depends of what you want to do. Uh, here is the information, instruction and uh, important information here. You should read all of this to be sure you uh, work correctly. And this one is a debug and if you want to debug the, uh, the, the add-on, if uh, you want to remove for example all the grease pencil of your scene, etc, etc. So, I will click here and I will add a reference. I will go here, I will select something like uh, this, uh, this and this. I will click I will click to create a camera and references and I will directly be in a modal. As you can see, modal on and I have all the information here and here. So if you don't play, if I don't use the T panel, you will have the information here. You can select your uh, empties and you can move like this with G. You can make a scale with S, rotate with R, uh, opacity W, you will have to move your mouse left to right to decrease and to, and to increase. Uh, X to flip horizontally. C to flip vertically. You can select another picture. You can move it. Select another picture, move it, scale it, play with the opacity, etc. etc. To exit the, uh, the model, as you can see, you can valid with space or enter. You can échappe and you can delete some picture. For example, I want to delete this one. That's it. I can move this one, move this one, and I will press space, and that's it. My first camera is created, and my first uh, references are placed. So as you can see, this is really simple. So let's see the option we have. This button is to select and to rename. If you have more than one camera, I will add this one. I will move, scale, play with the uh, opacity, and valid. I have now this camera and this one. As you can see with the icon, you can see which camera is activated, this one or this one, if, and if you press control and click, you will be able to name it cam1. Click OK. Cam2. Click OK. Cam1, Cam2. So as you can see, this is pretty simple. If you click on this button, you will hide the references and if you select, as you can see, this camera is still visible because this is visible. Here, I have to activate it to see the references. This button is to lock the camera and with this, you will be able to see and to zoom and to edit your model with the reference. It's really nice to add uh, a reference to place your model for this reference and to be able to zoom directly on it. So, as you can see also, there is the border of the camera. In the user preferences, you plan, I have to select my user preferences, you have these options, auto resize camera border. This is activated. I will uh, unlock my camera and I will select my camera. And as you can see, that will have resized the camera border and you will not see it. So this is really useful. So you can lock, move, unlock, 
continue to work if you want. This button is to you find to uh, set up your camera for the focal, the sensor, and the distance between the references and the camera. Depending on your scene, you will have to edit it. If you, maybe not sure, but uh, the option is there. This button is to remove the camera and the references. This one is to edit, add a new reference, remove it. This one is to add annotation and remove annotation. To add annotation, this is pretty simple. You can draw annotation here and you will have the annotation directly in the 3D view. So this is not uh, what we want and I will click here to remove the annotation. I will, for example, lock my camera and as you can see, I will have this result. I will click on the button add annotation and I will have this view. I can click on stop annotation to come back. And if I click here, I can add some text like this, move with S, G, uh, G, S, and R, as you can see. Tab to edit, add what you want, and tab to exit. This is pretty simple. I can add another text, place it, etc. To draw, you can click on D and draw, or click here and you will draw. Something like this. You can play with the fill option. You can play with the color to change it like this, with the thickness, etc, etc. You can add another layer, this one, I will change the color too, and draw, etc, etc. You will stop the annotation, and you will have your grease pencil, you plan. I have to click here, in your view, or directly if you locked your camera, like this. You will not be able to edit, to turn, etc, but you will be able to zoom. So as you can see, this is pretty simple. So don't play with the um, layer here. If you want to remove something, click here. That will um, fi fin, fix everything and everything will be okay. So if you have an issue, click here and that will add the uh, layers. If you want add layers, do it directly here, as you can see. And this is pretty simple. I will press stop. And if you want to add some uh, grease pencil in this scene, on this camera, you will be able to do this if you want. And if you want to remove everything, you click here. When you have only one picture, you have directly the opacity here. And with this button, you can change the picture for another. So this is pretty simple. So, as you can see, the add-on is pretty simple, but uh, pretty useful. I will show you this. I will remove everything. I will, for example, uh, add a cylinder. Yep. I will move it like this. I will go and search one of my uh, references. This one, for example. I will do this. I will press this. Press G. I will add the opacity to uh, 100. And I will press space. And if you use a, a software like uh, ShareX, you can press Control Print Screen and make some print screen from different parts of the picture. I will continue to make uh, some like this, as you can listen. Okay, last one like this. I will edit my reference. I will play with the opacity. And I will exit. On this one, I will just place my uh, my object, as you can see here, like this. I will edit and move it, G. To be sure I have exactly the same orientation, etc., I will uh, maybe edit my camera here, my reference, excuse me, like this. I will just do this, press E, like this, select this one, uh, make an inset, control to have this result, and move it like this. Even if it's not perfect right now, it's not an issue. So I will press control R, move this, select, I need someone here, Hop. go in fast mode, select this one, make an inset, control, and do this. So, like this, I will place correctly my uh, my reference with my object, 
like this to be sure I have exactly what I want. I can add another uh, cylinder. I can make a rotation in X. There X 19 and then like this. I can move this one here. Move, hoopla, move it here to be sure I have exactly what I want. Hop, like this. So I will turn my view and if I'm okay I can do this Hop. if I'm okay I can lock the view and be able as you can see to uh, go inside my view to zoom to place etc and now I can edit my object like this to have exactly the same as the reference like this so as you can see this is pretty 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 useful like this, control R, and with this workflow, you are sure to have exactly the same result. In this case, I'm uh, really fast, so it's not perfect, but uh, you can see the, the power of this, uh, this feature. So previously, I made some print screen, so I will add another view. I will add another camera, and I will go in my uh, print screen uh, view <laughs> directory, and I will select as you can see here, some, maybe this one, some uh, references, and I can move my view, to be sure, move my reference, place it like this, and that's it, I can lock this one, Hop. and now I have this result, and I will be able to see what I have here, I can add another camera, I can add this one, do the same, move this one, maybe uh, place this here, and space. You can, if you want, keep the uh, camera like this, or you can lock it. And in fact, you can now switch between a uh, different camera to work on your object, etc. etc. So this is really useful. I can, on this one, add another picture if I want. So I will add this and this. I will move it like this, like this. Maybe I should remove this, but uh, just... Uh, like this I will keep it and uh, as you can see you have your references you can hide them and you still have this reference you can do this and work on this one select for example uh, the, uh, the part on this one press hopla, E scale E scale E scale so as you can see this is really hopla, really 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 useful I will press GG like this, I will select this, press E, like this, I will press E to move this like this, ES to have exactly the same, Hoopla. G, etc, etc. So, since you can uh, select in your 3D view here, I will hide this one, I will just to place it, uh, ah. you can activate the load cam to you to move your cam if you want and uh, deactivate it after and you will be able to move this one, press G, etc, etc, S, Shift, Z, like this and now I can add directly like this, some, up là, oops, Make an inset. Add this. And that's it. This is pretty simple. And you are sure to follow directly the um, your reference. And you will have a great result. I will just show you the result. And this is my result. As you can see, this is pretty nice. And it was really easy uh, following the uh, reference direct in the 3D view and with the good orientation. And as you can see, good result and good wire. So that's it for uh, this first uh, uh, 101 EasyRef. I hope you like it. And the add-on is available on Gumroad. Bye-bye.